And then people would say, they would, then these beings would tell them, soon there's going to be a big change. There'll be a big change and you're going to be a very important part of the change and you know, you're going to be, you'll be, have a, a job to do and you'll be very pleased to do it. And to, to the abductees who don't know what they're talking about. But this will happen soon. Everything's going to happen soon. Soon it's going to be happening soon. Now that's the change. We're going, to be, we're going to have a change. The change is coming soon. Well, I begin. You know, when you hear things for the first time, you always put it on the back burner, waiting for validation from other people who are unaware of the testimony. Sure. Well, so the first few times I heard this, I just you just blow it off. You just think, well, I'll wait. If I never hear it again, there is no change. You know. Uh, but I began to hear it over and over again from a wide variety of people. Something was happening in the future. Some change was going to happen. They had some role in the future. This was going to happen. They began to convince me because the first time I heard it, it came out of the blue. And the second time I heard it, it came out of the blue. I mean, it sounded like I was leading them to it. I, I didn't even believe it had happened in the first place. So, uh, because you have to wait for confirmation. So you, you know, you don't, it, it's not like I'm leading people, it's like they're leading me. I instant, instituted controls for that eventually, which I can tell you about if you want, they're fun, kind of fun controls. But um, just to, see, to show you how it do, doesn't work the way people think it works. But um, the point is, is that after a while, I began to think, well, maybe there is going to be something happening in the future. Maybe this is leading to something. And I, I was realizing at this time that we're not dealing with an experiment here, that this is not a situation where people are just being put on a table and are looked at and say, what's, what's this, what's that? And, and you pull off somebody's arm and look inside their body and see what's in there. You know, it, it's not like that, that this is in fact a program. And as a program, it has a beginning, a middle, and an end, and it is goal-directed. They are doing this for a reason, and this is a global phenomenon. And the amount of time and energy and material and personnel that are involved in this program is fantastic. Unbelievable. It's literally beyond imagination. And I'm getting letters from around the world, people having these experiences, so as is Bud Hopkins and, and all other abduction researchers who are known. Then people began to be much more specific about what they would be doing in the future. And a lot of what they were doing is crowd control. Standing on a sidewalk saying, move along, move along, it'll be okay, don't worry, everything is all right, just keep moving, move in this direction, move that way. And I had a whole bunch of tell me, people telling me that this, that this is what they're gonna be doing. I talked to a person who has a PhD in English telling me, well, that's what she's going to be doing. She's going to be standing on a corner directing people. And I'm talking to a person who is a, a junior high school, middle school dropout telling me the same exact story. Well, they'll be standing directing people. They don't know particularly where, why, but they have to, this is what they know that they'll be doing. Plus a whole variety of other things. Those are just two, an example. So people would be saying these things like, like they'd be doing crowd control work of all things to think of. And I'm thinking to myself, well, why don't they envision themselves in the future as being an ambassador or something that's, you know, that, that would be obviously some psychological thing that they would do, which would, which would enhance their role in, in this, in this new change or whatever. But in fact, they'd be doing mundane things and, and helping with abductions and, and helping and doing this and doing that and all sorts of other things. And it, it was just, it was hard to imagine, but I began to realize that this was a program if you were to believe what these beings were saying to the abductees or then telling it to me, that this was a program of integration into the society, that they, that they were integrating into the society and they would be looking like us, just like in science fiction. Just exactly what I don't want to hear. Just, just, it, it goes all the way back to, if you if you ever think this is science fiction or if you ever think that this is just a matter of popular culture, people are picking it up, well, this is it. But this is where the evidence led, and that has got to be emphasized. It didn't lead in a thousand different directions, as it should have if it were psychological. It didn't lead back to the importance of the individual, as it would have in psychological cases. It didn't lead in, into all sorts of crazy areas. 
all the stories, all of them that I heard, led to one direction, and that this, this was, in fact, an integration program. People were filling in pieces of the puzzle, and it was leading in one direction, a direction I did not like and did not want to 